everyone! Welcome back to Dreamy Writers Tarot. So, for today's episode, we're going to ask the tarot cards or the spirit guides, what will your children be like? Okay, your future children. So, for those of you who are expecting kids or we're just uh, very curious what their kids would be, okay, so this one is for you. Okay, now we have four piles to choose from. We have pile 1, which is the Queen of Cups, pile 2, the Queen of Swords, Pile 3, the Queen of Pentacles, and Pile 4, the Queen of Wands. So, uh, pick the queen that calls out to you the most. Okay, and then when you guys are ready, let's get started with Pile number 1. Hi, Pile 1. If you've chosen Queen of Cups, or yeah, this one is for you. Queen of Cups or Pile 1. <laughs> okay, we'll start with the tarot first. So, we have here the Tower card. Next, we have the King of Pentacles. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. We also have the Chariot. Okay, here you go. And then we have the Knave of Cups. Okay. So, um, pile number one, what will your children be like? Okay, um, in general, okay, um, to be honest, what I'm seeing here is actually a hesitation about having kids in the first place. Okay, so, um, or that's, there's one, or probably, um, in the long run, okay, you may be having problems with conceiving a child, or possibly along the way decided that you do not uh, want to raise kids at all okay so uh, whatever it is okay there will be something that would happen in the future at home that could greatly affect this decision and then whatever it is uh, the good thing is both you and your partner okay so it's the king and queen they're uh, beside each other so uh, this is gender neutral so the, um, this can be for same sex partners same gender partners so uh, whatever it is that you both decide on it's going to be mutual okay and uh, you both may come to the decision that um, yeah, you do not want to have kids at all okay and then uh, with the chariot it's saying that you know you're kind of decided <laughs> okay with this matter so it's like you're really on a strong position to not raise kids at all that's why we have the knave of cups or the page of cups in the first but another message that i'm getting is that um it's still under 10 okay so uh yeah you may decide to not have kids but it's uh, the universe is saying that it's not the final answer okay so there will still be that possibility for you to raise a child Okay, so it's like an open-ended question of uh, maybe that's what you've decided on in general, but um, the end the deal is not exactly how you think it would be. Now, let's see here. What are your message from the spirit guides regarding this um, question? So we have here live your bliss. And then we have your beliefs are right for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then ask for guidance. So with the one here yeah it's probably confirming the fact that you know maybe you guys are a young couple and maybe you're just starting out or maybe you're not ready yet to have kids so whatever it is um it's saying that you know it's okay you know you don't have to be pressured you don't have to feel hurt with other people's uh, judgment or what other people have to say about you in terms of this decision okay and then we have asked for guidance because um yeah so it's kind of like confirming the last card so it's saying that you know maybe there's still a possibility for you to have children okay but uh, whatever it is um, that you actually want to do on you may be asking for advice maybe not emotionally but scientifically you know some of you may consider adoption or some of you may consider um, a surrog surrogate parenting okay so there's this message that in the future in the long run you guys will be seeking some kind of um, guidance or professional help with regards to this connection okay so for the next one uh, we'll pull out some letters so uh, what are significant initials in terms of this connection so uh, this can be your children's initials or your initials okay getting uh, these letters 
So we have here for the first one we have G. Okay. And then we have H. We have N. And then we have W. Okay. So um this may be initials of your name, your partner's name, or something significant, okay, in terms of uh this reading. Alright, so thank you so much, file number one. That is it for us. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content every week. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, hi, file two. If you've chosen the Queen of Swords card, this one is for you. Okay, so let's put her here. Now, uh, we'll start with the tarot. So we have the Knave of Wands, or the Page of Wands. Next, we have... The King of Wands. Okay. Sorry, it's a bit. There you go. Next, we have the Hanged Fae or the Hanged Men. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. So, file number two. What will your children be like? Okay. Um, I'm getting two messages here, two interpretations. So, uh, for the first one is, okay, it's either that, uh, if you're a female watching this, okay, you may be a step-parent, you may become a step-mother to two kids, okay, one boy and one girl, okay, or there's also a possibility for you to uh, give birth to twins, a boy and a girl, okay, but whatever it is, um, your children will have a very strong connection to their father, Okay, or if you're a guy watching this, you know, your kids will probably look very much like you or think, uh, feel, or, you know, like the things that you do. So, it's like, uh, it's like a carbon copy, a photocopy of the dad. So, yeah, there's a strong um, connection with the father, okay? But it's not saying that, you know, you totally won't get along. If you're a mom, you know, it's not saying that you won't totally get along with your kids. Um, no, it's just that, you know, they're gonna be very, very close to their dad. Okay, now, um, yeah, with the hanged fate in the middle, okay, it's, I'm getting this message that, you know, for some of you, it may, you may have been waiting for a long time to have your kids, okay, so, um, if that is your current situation right now, so this card is telling you not to worry, okay, so, uh, your, well, what you've been waiting for, your kids, okay, they will arrive at the right time, and in fact, uh, it's gonna be a great household okay i can see it's actually a pretty tight um household and there's a bad it's just like whoever the mom is it's like you're the balance okay you're like kind of like the one who holds the family together keep them back to their senses you know because um they all think alike so i'm getting the message that you know um your family your husband and your kids they may be very um well they may be very extroverted you know good communicators very passionate so there's also a possibility that um your husband your partner or wife or your kids um will be maybe aries leo or sagittarius but um not exactly it's if it if it's not that's okay but yeah they will really look to take after the father or the paternal side of um the parents okay the more paternal one of the parent okay and then yeah it's a boy and a girl okay definitely one boy and one girl and um although they're both take after their dad the boy okay the male will be a lot more closer to the mom and then the female okay will be a lot more closer to the father all right so this time let's move to the spirit guides message for you in terms of uh, this question so we have here make each day count and then we have you are here for a reason so um i'm getting this message that you know this may probably be because of uh, the waiting that you're feeling so uh with the make each day count it's telling you that not to worry okay just enjoy um the days that you're having the days that you're experiencing right now and um don't feel bad okay you're here for a reason so they will come your family will be there for you at the right time okay so i don't have to feel sad if it's not yet happening right now 
So this time, let's move to the letters. Okay. So uh, what will be significant letters with this connector? Okay, there you go. We have four. So we have G. And then we have E. Oh, we have A. And then we have K. Alright. So I don't know, keg? <laughs> or age. O. Yeah, this can say age. Or cage. Okay, or this could be maybe taking off names that starts with uh, these initials. Alright, so that is it for us, file number 2. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content like this every week. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, hi, file 3. If you choose the Queen of Pentacles card, this one is for you. Okay. So, uh, let's start with Tarot, Oracle, and then the Letter Charms. So, for the first card, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Wands. Next, we have the Knight of Cups. Next, we have the Ace of Wands. And then next, we have the Four of Wands. Oh, okay, this is actually uh, interesting. Okay, so Queen of our Queen of Pentacles, spell three, uh, what will your children be like? So, um, in terms of number of kids, okay, I'm seeing that uh, you guys may be planning on just two. So, for some of you, it's just two or more. But, okay, um, you will have an unexpected child, probably a third unplanned kid. Okay, but the good thing is there's nothing to worry about it. Okay, so the last child, the last born, may actually end up being the favorite. Okay, so yeah, you have three ki uh, two kids at planned, and then probably another kid. So another three or four child. Okay, so um, how about the personality of your kids, right? So um, for the first two, okay, I'm seeing that uh, the first born may be someone who's smart and reserved. You know, um, someone who's very logical, someone who likes to read, but probably likes to keep more things to herself, you know, uh, more of the introverted type. And then, um, the next born, or probably the second or third, um, I think that this one is the more um, extroverted one, you know, the friendly kind, the popular, um, the one who is very warm. Okay, extroverted. So, they're kind of like, you know, yeah, they're kind of like opposites, actually. So, just look at how the cards are facing different directions. But, uh, it doesn't mean that one is uh, stronger than the other, one is better than the other. Oh, definitely not. Okay, but uh, it just so means that, you know, it's like a, they, they're both a perfect balance. <laughs> okay, of each other, it's like these two make actually a great team. Okay, now, uh, the reason why I've mentioned that you may have three kids is because, you know, the tree actually appeared here and then with the ace of wands in the pile i'm saying that you know uh aces are actually about beginnings and in this one so you're going to have another kid probably at the time when these two are um let's say not babies anymore old old in terms of like i'm feeling the age of 12 so probably when uh, your kids reach the age of 12 you will unexpectedly uh, get pregnant with um, your next child. And then, um, this is where it came in. So, um, see how, you know, uh, they hold the baby in. So, another thing is, it's possible that the child, or maybe the fourth one. So, I'm not getting the exact number. But for you guys, it's two to three kids. Or two to four kids. Okay. So, yeah. But either way, you know, it's going to be a very happy family life, okay? Your kids are going to be very close to each other, okay? They're going to be uh, there for each other, have each other's back. So, uh, these kids will be, you know, going up, loving each other a lot. Now, let's see the message from the spirit guides. So, uh, we have here, like attracts like. And then we have choose fear, or choose love, sorry, never choose fear. <laughs> choose love over fear. 
then we have worry is a wasted emotion okay so yeah with like the tracks like so this uh definitely confirms that you know your kids okay your children will be very close to each other you know they'll be very warm and supportive towards one another and then uh we choose love over fear and then worry so we said emotion so uh this may be messages about um the last pregnancy that you have so uh it's saying that you know you don't have to worry about anything okay so it to be um loving it's going to be all right so yeah there's nothing to worry about in terms of um having another child okay it's definitely a blessing and uh you know your kids your uh, older elder children are probably very excited to have another baby in the house so this time let's move to the farms okay, what are significant initials with this connection okay so we have here letter g and then we have d and we have i then we have letter F. Okay. Fig. I'm not sure. Fig, fidge, dig. Okay. So it's possible. Okay. So this could be initials of your children or names that you've been thinking of giving your future kids. Are your own initials or your partner's initials. Okay. So that is it for us. Spell number three. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content like this every week. So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hi Pile 4! If you've chosen the Queen of Wands, this reading is for you. Okay? So let's start with Tarot Oracle and then we'll go to the Letter Charms. So for the first Tarot card, we have the Name of Swords or the Page of Swords. <laughs> Excuse me. Next, we have the Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. Next, we have the Three of Swords. Next, we have the Knave of Pentacles or Page of Cups. Sorry, Page of Pentacles. And then we have the Moon card. Okay. Oh, alright. So, this is a bit interesting, actually. L4. Okay. So, uh, what will your kids or what will your children be like? Okay. So, um, I'm seeing quite a lot of disagreements between you and your kids. Okay, so, uh, in terms of number, there's a, I'm seeing either 1 and 2, me, 3 at max. Okay, so just within those numbers of kids. Okay, and then, um, with the name of swords, okay, in here, what I'm seeing is that, you know, you may feel like, you know, this your child does not like rather your child has you know a very unique personality or this may be someone whom you feel is very different from you so uh it, it's not a bad thing but it's kind of like this you know when you had a when you were um but when you were expecting or when you were still dreaming of what your child might be like it's like um you have this vision in your head of what how will they be in terms of personality what they like don't like okay uh with the name of swords appearing it's saying that you know the child may be completely different from how you envisioned it okay and then uh there's also some form of warning in terms of communicating with your child so um because of the differences in your personality so it's not really a total disagreement that they won't love you know it's not the case of uh, not being loved it's more of actually um being different from each other it's like um you let's say for example uh you guys like sports so your child may prefer things like writing or painting you know so it's completely different and i uh, kind of it kind of makes you wonder um how they got that hobby because you know you yourself aren't interested really interested in some of those things that they like so there's um that communication gap so it's more in communication with hobbies and interests and then uh with the three of swords so um there's also kind of a warning here okay to you know not be too harsh on them i mean what I'm guessing is that uh, you're probably very perfectionist. So, 
okay the child may be you know feeling may feel a lot of pressure okay uh from what i'm seeing or from what i'm feeling you guys may be perfectionist or uh you're overachievers okay you really like um to excel at the top so um this may cause some kind of pressure okay on the part of the child to keep up with the parent okay so there's um that message there's that strong message about um your kids emotions with it and then with the knave of pentacles so um what it's saying is that you know eventually once um your kids grow up um or get older you know you guys will eventually get along okay and then um another thing is that you know um that is actually the characteristic more of the firstborn um this one is more of the characteristic of the next child or the youngest okay so this one is very you know smart as well very resourceful okay and very independent okay probably someone who also likes to eat i don't know i'm getting that message you know, they like to eat like to go out so someone who's um, a fun personality which is good and then uh with the moon of with the moon card appearing it's saying that you know um from time to time you may have some feelings of tiredness or fatigue or something like that and sometimes you may be feeling a bit confused okay about parenthood which um i'm not a parent myself to be honest but uh looking at people who are currently in the early stages so i think it's normal see some of my friends um talk about it experience it so for you it's like it's gonna happen eventually okay you're gonna get this confusion okay and um there's also a certain message that eventually you're kind of make it will make you wonder what to do what to actually do to you know get through your kids to fully understand them as they are okay now for the oracle card to see what are the message from the spirit guides in terms of your um, connection with your children so we have here kindness counts okay and then we have never judge another okay and then we have thoughts create your reality okay so uh, from these cards what I'm um, getting for the message is that you know it would be best to it would help in the future if you still don't have kids yet to you know um not set expectations on how they should be but rather um just see them for what they are yeah so probably just um see them for what they are and then um yeah never judge another so maybe um it's not really in your intention. I mean um all as with all parents, you know, it's not really in your intention to judge them or to make them feel bad. Definitely not. Probably um you were giving them um feedback in order to help them improve because you want them to improve, you want them to be their best. So uh probably over time, you know, your child may feel like um he or she's being judged. Okay, so there's this um warning in terms of that and then when thoughts create your reality so probably uh with the perception you know so if you're thinking that you know maybe don't you won't get along well or maybe something may happen to the child so it's letting you to change the way um not really change it but rather change the thoughts themselves so that um and make them pleasant because whatever it is that you are thinking or that is in your mind it will eventually come to so it's your uh it's very strong in terms of psyche now let's see here okay what are significant um letters in terms of these three okay so voila i have five for you guys so for the first letter we have k okay kindness <laughs> and then we have e okay key Okay, we have O, Kyo. So you may be thinking of giving your child a name of Kyo, T, and then P. Okay, I have a name it's spells pocket, <laughs> but of course it don't have the letter C. But yeah, or poke. Okay, poke or to. Okay, it's not necessarily poke, but you know, um, it's up to you to um. 
spelled as C, can relate to the letters, that's good if not, that's also fine. But yeah, these are significant initials in terms of the um, connection with your children. Right? So, thank you so much. File number four, that is it for us. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content like this every week. So, I hope you enjoy so much, guys. Um, thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye!